Good morning, everybody. I'm right side up. Good morning, grandmas. Today is October 3rd, I think. It's Wednesday. I think just three things sold. That DVD player sold. That we fixed the squeak and bought and tested and everything. That sold 125 bucks. Sold another pair of these insoles for $15 shipped. Sold Zombies Ate My Neighbors for $37 for the Super Nintendo. This is actually in really good condition. Zombies goes in a bubble mailer. Insoles just go in a poly bag. And I will show everyone how to ship the DVD player. The hardest part of the whole ordeal is just having the right size box. And as you can see, this does fit. And then it's just wrapping it in bubble wrap and putting it in the box. And in this particular shipment, I'm using another box as void filler to fill the space and to make it all nice and snug. The whole Super Nintendo craze is kind of motivating me to list more of my Super Nintendo stuff. This is a beautiful non-yellowing console in nearly pristine con condition. There is a little bit of slight discoloration on the front and a little tiny ding on the corner there. But other than that, this is a like nine out of 10 console. I'm listing it on eBay for 120 bucks with all the cords and two controllers. And over here is its ugly stepbrother on a completely yellowed console with the inside jiggles and as is on the bottom and we're going to take this apart right now and see what's inside using my security bit tool this is the 4.5 millimeter i believe it's from my nice electronics nintendo repair kit i got off of amazon for like 10 bucks Ooh, that sounds awful Wow, it's like, that's like really bad. I can already tell there's a ton of broken plastic up in here. Oh my gosh, it was coming from right here. Look at that, it's just destroyed. One of the screw receivers is completely broken off there. And the other one is just completely cracked out. At least it doesn't rattle anymore. I doubt she'll go back together very well. Let's go test this and see if she even works. Believe it or not, as ugly as this beast is, she does work. Excuse me while I beat up some bad guys. And I actually killed two birds with one stone by testing this. I actually plugged it into a DVD VCR combo, recorded me playing just to test the recording function on the tapes. We're also testing the DVD functions before we list this one on Amazon. And it looks like it's good. So I just got this message from Facebook. They've removed one of my posts because it violates their trademark rights. My friend was wearing, uh, somebody was wearing this Gators jacket that I, I found and they bought it off of me. And I tagged it, hashtag UF, hashtag Gators. And I just made a post saying like, Shout out to him, he's gonna be a PhD, blah, 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 look how awesome this jacket is. And Facebook said that they might, if I violate again, they're gonna terminate my account. That would not be cool, that was not something cool to wake up to. This is another YouTube channel that I watch, Craigslist Hunter, he does electronics, I like electronics, and he's pretty much no nonsense, he has a shop in Illinois, and I really enjoy his content. It's got these goofy look. Plus he's got an awesome Polish accent. If you enjoy reselling, watch some of Craigslist Hunter's videos. If you jive with him, subscribe to his channel and give him some support, give him some love. So I got a couple things listed on eBay and Amazon, mainly that Super Nintendo, that VCR DVD player, and I listed the C-Crane Radio 2 that I found with TY Hipster in Sarasota about a month ago. Used that during the hurricane and it hasn't had any activity on Amazon so I'm now listing it on eBay for 130 and then I'll put my stuff on sale or whatever. I'll probably sell it for like 80 to 100 bucks is my guess. It's in really good shape. So that is a value of like almost $300 of stuff I've listed on eBay today, which makes me feel productive. Gives me a little bit of productive energy. I do need to drop off this uh, DVD recorder at the UPS right now. So I'm gonna take the car, drop that off, and then run into two or three thrifts, come back home, and then do a list-a-thon until at four o'clock, I got a conference call with some of the green room guys, and then I'll go to the gym 
after the conference call, I think. It actually turns out the laws of leadership goes for like 20 bucks on Amazon. I didn't even know that. I bought it strictly to listen to it in the car. It's pretty good. It's got great reviews. On our way to the first Goodwill, my car is still having a little chirp. It's kind of annoying me on cold start. It's kind of gone now, but whenever I start it up, it gets a small little chirpy chirp. Maybe I need to tighten the belt. Wheel number one today. Here's an older Prince tennis racket. It's an extender thunder. Six bucks. We're going to grab this. It's in really good shape. This is one of the things you want to look for for a tennis racket. On the inner triangle, it'll have a tennis, like a tennis shop number or something. And that's who strung it. And this one's actually in really good shape. The comps are all over the place, but I should be able to get 30 to 40 for it. So I just rang out with the tennis racket, but I just found this. Super sick. Vintage locker line Celtics satin jacket, five bucks. We are popping and copping for sure. This is awesome. And it's super clean. There's a bike tour up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get him on film and then I'll try to get him at a red light and give him like an apple or something. But he's definitely on tour. I can see the panniers. I love it when I see guys like this. Ah. What's your name? Sam. Do you have YouTube or Instagram or anything? Uh, Instagram. What's the Instagram? Scrim Sam. Scrim Sam. C S C R I M yeah. S A M? Yeah. Cool. Do you want an apple? I got an apple right here for uh, you. Got one. Well, cheers. Thank you. Have a good ride. So, Scrim Sam riding to Key West, going to Vancouver, started in Sarasota. So, he's only on like day one or two. I'm going to check out his Instagram. Scrim Sam. I love seeing other tours. It just pumps me up for them. Flashbacks of all my bike touring days. So, good luck to you, Sam. Gonna give this thrift shop a second chance. Fabulous finds. It is the Homeless Coalition. For $4.99, tiny bit of corrosion. We will pop. And I love this. We will pop on this as well with the remote. 10 bucks. It's a good deal. That was pretty effective. I think I spent, what, like $16. I also popped on a old logo Tampa Bay Devil Rays strap back. It's actually pretty clean. 75 cents. Oh my gosh, this is a super sick super van life. They're totally living in there. I see curtains. That's awesome. And we're hitting the rain and we're getting to the Salvation Army in Punta Gorda. I'm gonna pop on all three of these. We got a Phillips DVD VCR combo, a light on DVD recorder, and a Harman Kardon CD recorder. $70, 10% off, $20, 10% off, and this one's $15, 10% off. Just got done with the conference call, testing the DVD recorder. Putting in a blank DVD, hooked up our Super Nintendo from earlier, and hopefully we should be able to record it onto here. First try, it didn't work. I was using a DVD minus R. It's actually a DVD plus R recorder. So I'm gonna put the DVD plus R in, and hopefully she will work. Long story short, this unit is not working. It is freezing. Right now it's on load, it will not even, it's been loading for 10 minutes. Won't even let me eject the CD, or won't even let me eject the DVD. The inputs, the outputs work, everything works except for the DVD recording and that's what makes it valuable. So this is gonna go back to salvos. It, it's a no refunds, no returns, no exchanges, but they told me I could bring it back and get a $20 credit towards something else, so that's fine. Cool with me. Now comes for the big boy, the Harmon and Cardin CD recorder so you put one in and then it records it to the other one we're going to test that real quick and number what are we every time i put a disc in i get a disc error after some quick research it's probably laser issues misalignment so harman and cardin goes back in the van we're going to return that tomorrow and this is the last one we're going to test hopefully she works and won't be a trombone so far, the DVD playing abilities are good. Restricted for me, restricted for me on Amazon so I can get a trombone. Works perfectly fine. However, the last one that sold on eBay went for $70, so there's still some hope. Getting ready for the hangout. My table is a mess because I was working on stuff earlier, but I'm gonna be sitting about right here. Here is me webcam. Ugh. I put her on a tripod. I wanna get this in front of me so I can have my my laptop. 
Laptop drop top. Ugh. If I don't drop it. My laptop drop top on, y'all. Yeah. I have one illumination source. And we're gonna do a hangout. If it's not up, it won't sell. And that is, this is probably the number one bottleneck in anyone's online, eBay, Amazon, anything business is the actual listing. And it's, there's not like one answer for everyone. Everyone kind of has to figure out what works for them. Like if it's listening to music while you do it, if it's putting on a show, if it's just complete silence, if it's drinking a coffee and doing it, if you're doing it inside mobily with your phone, if you're doing it outside with your, your, uh, camera, your DSLR or whatever, like everyone has their own strategy that makes them be able to do it faster for themselves. SUV out of the driveway while I was there trying to fish out one of the boxes from the wall. But the shirt that Chris is wearing, he's had it for five years. He's wearing the same shirt here. He's, this is a five year old video and he's wearing the, it's a T-Rex t-shirt. I've seen it at his house. Actually a really fun show. It was good to get on and just to be able to joke and laugh with Steve and Chris. I got to show my Boston Celtics item and it was the winner of the vote on who got the who who has the best item. And uh, it beat out Chris and Steve's video game and camera. This was a this was a good find today. It is about at nine o'clock. I'm going to head to the gym and do legs. So I appreciate everyone for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. I'll put a link to the green room hangout in the top here and also in the description. So you can check that out if you want. If you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. Here's an older Prince tennis racket. Oh. Cool. Here's my sunglasses.